here I am in the assignments in iTunes U. And what I'd like for you to do now that you have the .epub installed, you're going to come down here to the second assignment where it says iBook article. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that. And you can see there that there's a link changing of the guard. So we're going to click on this link here and it's going to open up in Safari. And while that article is opening up in Safari, um, you're going to notice on the right hand side here and we have a picture of the shoes, just some images and some things that may be a little bit distracting. But also, we want to take this and maybe we want to go on a car ride and we don't have internet access there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I have two of them. I'm going to just hit one of them. I have the .epub. So I'm going to go ahead and click .epub. Let's try that again. Hit the .epub. Conversion's coming in place. And now it gives me two options, open in or open in iBooks. And I want to open this up in iBooks. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to convert it. And it's going to take all of that information, eliminate all the ads and eliminate everything and put this article right in iBooks. So what a great way to share with students. You can do this with links, you could do it on a web page, you could do it in a, a learning management system. Um, anywhere you put a link to, to an article, students can then go ahead and go through this process. So now here we have this article, and what we would like to do is we'd like to do some highlighting on it. And I'm just going to basically show you, looking at the second paragraph, I'm going to hold my finger down at that word that and it's going to highlight it. And now I'm going to pinch wherever else I want to highlight because I find interesting. This is just like if you were to take a highlighter on a piece of paper if you printed this article out. Once I do that then I have a couple options. I could speak it, I could copy, highlight, note, search, and share. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight. And when I highlight this, you can see that it's in yellow highlight. There are um, several circles to the left hand side of the trash can that I can actually click on those and I can change the color. Um, so maybe I want to make this green instead of yellow, or maybe I want to make it blue, um, or some people might like to make it pink. Okay, so I can change the colors there, and then I can click the A right next to it, and that means that I can highlight it, or sorry, underline it, so that I could underline my text. So I don't like to do that, I like to highlight it. Um, so I'm finished that, now I've highlighted that article. But that's not all. So I want to go back and I want to highlight that, but I also want to make a note on it. And so I'm going to click on the little... Um, speech bubble right above this here in the middle. And I'm going to make a note as well. So I'm just going to make it short. I minimize my keyboard. And now I can click anywhere in this document and that'll go away. You can notice now that highlighted and onto the left hand side margin there, there's a little sticky note. That's where my note is. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to look for more things to highlight. I'm going to come down here to this sentence. I'm going to click and hold again. And I'm going to highlight. And I'm going to, this time I'm going to note, because what it's going to do, it's going to highlight and note at the same time. So notice that it automatically goes to blue. Um, and again, minimize my keyboard when I'm finished. And I can click anywhere in that article. So I've highlighted two different um, pieces of information here. Now, what I'd like for, to do is to share this out so that I can give this to my teacher, acting as a student. In the top left-hand corner, you see library, and you also see those three lines. So I can go ahead and I can look at those three lines, and I can click on them, and this comes up. And it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. You see contents, you see bookmarks, and you see notes. So we're going to click all the way over there in the notes section. And you can see these are the two points that I have highlighted. Hopefully you have more points in this article because this is a very, very powerful article. But I want to share these notes. In the top right hand corner we have that action button. So if I can go ahead and I'm going to click that action button, there are two options. The first option is to share the book. That would be that we're going to share that book out on a link. Maybe we want somebody else to have this article. Um, but what I want to do is I want to edit the notes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Edit Notes. And now what happens is my all my text and my notes move over to the right a little bit because now I've inserted are two little dots or two little fill in the circles. So any note and highlight that I want to share with somebody, I'm going to click in that little box there. Um, if I had more of them, I would obviously put more of them. And then you see in the blue text right above it, Deselect and then Share. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Share here. And a couple of options come up. I could flipboard it. I could save it to Dropbox. But what I want to do is I want to email it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit email here. And 
you're just going to simply email it to my email address, which is also included in the description there. Um, if you did this correctly, you should see notes down here with your highlights and the note underneath of it. And it also gives me the link to the article as well. When I'm finished, all I have to do is hit send, and there I have it. I have my notes sent 